Hi, I'm Ben from Twinkle. Today I'm looking at story sequencing cards, which are great for helping children to understand what happens when in a story, so they can retell it for themselves. I'm going to start by taking a look at some of the download options, then how you can change the size when printing it, and then some alternatives if you don't want to print, so you can still use these resources to their best. Let's take a look. We have loads of different story sequencing resources matching lots and lots of popular stories. But if you can't find your story, then get in touch with the Twinkle Cares team and our designers might be able to make it for you. Once you've found the resource you need, you've got some download options, and if you go to more downloads, you can choose different colour options. So in this case, it will print in black and white as default, but if I go to more options, I can choose colour. And here's that black and white default. Which is great, because children can colour this themselves while they talk about the story. Other story sequencing cards might come in A4. And we also have some examples with dual languages, which are great for EAL children. If your chosen resource is in A4 and you'd like it to be smaller, the easiest way to change this is to increase the number of pages printed per sheet. And this is under more settings on a PC or under layout options if you're working on a Mac. I find that good flashcards come at four pages to a sheet or perhaps six or even nine. And if you don't want to print at all, then you could create a story map. The easiest way to ensure that you end up with the right number of spaces for children to draw in is to fold a sheet of paper into that number. So here I've got eight parts, which suits most of these resources. And then children can draw the different parts of the story following the sequence of events into each section on their map, which hopefully they can retell back to you.